Hello there. This will be a quick course about how to create a service principle in Azure. Typically, there are two kinds of users in cloud environment. One is user account for humans, where we use typical usernames, passwords, MFA, etc. to log in. Another type is for programmatic access from any scripts, programs, or any automations. Service principle in Azure can be used for programmatic access. So in this video, we will be creating a service principle and also we are going to assign some roles to Azure subscriptions in order to access the resources. Let's get started. Before starting anything, what I have done is I have installed Azure CLI on my local machine. I will put this link on the description of this video. You can install it depending on the OS type which you use. And for example, if I run AZ accounts, not accounts, account list please run az login to access your accounts so if you only type az login it will prompt you for your username and password that's typically user for any humans but in our case want to use programmatic access and we do not have any access for the moment now i'm going to create the service principle or the programmatic user so let's switch our screen to azure portal and this is my azure portal in home screen you can type in ad in the search bar so you'll see azure active directory click on this option these are my overviews or details of my Azure AD. We can navigate to app registrations. Click on this option. Click on all applications. From this window, we are going to create our service principal or new user account. Click on new registration. Give any name. Thus learning demo, something like that. Accounts in the organization directory only. That is fine for me. Click on register. So on the top right screen, you can see it has been created and you need this application ID going forward. So click on this little button to copy it. I have copied it. So this will be your secret ID and you need a key to log in. So basically you can treat the application ID as user ID or username. Then I need to get the secret key where I can get it. Click on certificates and secrets. Click on new client secret. Any description that's optional, maybe demo and the expiry date. I think maybe three months is fine for me now. Click on add. So this value, you are going to need it. Copy that. That screen will appear only once. So how to navigate again, for example, from home screen and go to active directory. You can search again also. Click on active directory, come to app registrations. You'll see all the service principle which you have created in this window. Click on your service principle. So here you have your application ID and along with that, I need the tenant id that means your azure ad id let me go to ad overview on the home screen of your azure active directory you'll see tenant id click this button to copy it and i'll paste it here now my authentication is ready that means login i need to give some permissions in order to proceed with authorization as well so let me do that now let me go to home screen and i do have two subscriptions created in azure you can search in subscription on the search bar or maybe you can click on subscription button from here as well and go to any of your subscription click on access control im click on add and you need to add role assignment for now i'll go with contributor that will have all the changes access but it won't be able to provide any access to other service principles user or any other thing but it can create or delete any other resource and i'll be using this with my azure devops exercises click on next here you can select your members click on select members wait a bit and if your service principle doesn't appear here search for that name that was das learning demo click on this click on select click on next review and assign as you see my role assignment is successful possibly you'll be able to find it and we are done now let me very quickly run a command so i have username password that means access id and secret key with my tenant id i can copy this paste it to my power cell next command is az login i'll put all the comments in my description of this video paste it now my login is successful if i run the previous command again which is az account list it can be anything and if you have permission on that service principle that should work fine you can create you can view you can destroy anything and as of now i have given only access to single subscription which is this one and it is showing that details i do have two subscriptions but it is showing only one as it has got access to one subscription as of now so that's about it in this video we are going to use the service principle for my next azure devops episode thanks for watching see you in the next video